Hi there and welcome to Hegarty Maths. It's Mr. Arnold here and this is a video on solving trig equations. It is mainly aimed at A-level maths modules but is applicable to lots of other modules also. So regardless of what you're studying, hopefully you find this video useful. Okay, now what we're going to do in this video is actually bring together uh, the purpose of why we had to draw all these um, graphs in the previous videos. So we spent hopefully quite a bit of time getting to grips with sketching the graphs. And it enables us to solve these equations quite easily. So I'm looking to solve this in the interval 0 up to 360 degrees. And I'm trying to solve 5, x, 5 sine x equals negative 2. So 5 sine x equals negative 2. I can divide both sides by 5 to get sine x equals negative 2 over 5. And then we can take the inverse sine, sometimes known as arc sine, of negative 2 over 5. And let's put that into the calculator. Very important here, we realize that our question is in degrees, so I'm going to make sure that my calculator is set to the to degrees. So set up. Let's try that again. Shift and set up and we want to put it in degree mode option three now we're ready to go so we're going to take the inverse cosine or inverse sine of negative two over five and when i put that in i get negative twenty three point six to three significant figures so let's write that down negative twenty three point six and that's two three sig fig now this is where sketching the graphs is going to come in so useful for us so i'm going to sketch the graph of sine x and hopefully remember it's going to start at zero it goes up to one down to negative one and then is periodic every 360 degrees and we should know that this uh, value here is 180 degrees or if you're dealing in radians that's going to be pi and what I'm going to do is actually extend the graph backwards so I'm going to extend this graph backwards it's y equals sine x so just extend it backwards a little bit so it will go down and then up and and continue on like that and consider well where would negative 23.6 degrees be I would have to if this is zero degrees I would have to go back 23.6 degrees 23.6 degrees and I could work out what that is from the graph and that will give me some value but the interval we're interested in is between 0 and 360, which means I'm actually only interested in solutions between this green dot and this green dot, which is between 0 and 360. So I now have to consider where will I get the same solution. This is where the symmetry of the graph is very useful. So if it was 23.6 degrees back in this direction, it's actually going to be the same as going 26.3 degrees, 23.6 degrees, should I say, in this direction, which would give me the same value, because we could read it across, and it's going to be the same value from the axis. I would also have a another answer, which would be found by going 23.6 degrees back from 360. So 23.6 degrees, 23.6 degrees. So in fact, the solutions, so what angles will give me um, sine uh, sin x equals negative 2 over 5? Well, it's going to be 180 degrees. So x is going to equal 180 plus 23.6, which is going to be... Let's see, um, 213.6 degrees. And also, 
it's going to be 23.6 degrees back from 360. So x will equal 360 degrees subtract 23.6. And when we work that out, uh, let's save ourselves the hassle. Get the calculator out. It is a core 2 paper. 360 degrees subtract 23.6 going to give us 336.4 so these are the different angles that we could use such that if we took the sine of these angles we would get an answer of negative 2 over 5 let's see another one in action so here we're asked to solve in the interval indicated at uh, 2 times 1 plus tan of theta equals 1 minus 5 tan of theta. And we need to go back as far as negative pi and up as far as 2 pi. Now we'll come to sketching the graph in a moment. Let's just see if we can solve this. I'm going to expand the brackets to get 2 plus 2 tan of theta equals 1 minus 5 tan of theta. Now what we're going to do is collecting anything that involves tan of theta to one side. So I'm going to add 5 tan of theta to the left hand side, which gives me 7 tan of theta. And at the same time, I'm going to take 2 off both sides. That's going to give me negative 1, which means that tan of theta is going to equal negative 1 over 7. And let's work out theta. Theta is going to be found by doing the inverse tan or arc tan of negative 1 over 7. Now, get the calculator out. Now, we've got to be very careful here. The question is in radians. So, I'm going to make sure that my calculator is set to radians. So, set it up. Radian measure. Clear it off. And here we go. So, inverse tan of negative 1 over 7, close it off, it's going to give me minus 0 0.142, minus 0 0.142, and now we need to find what are all the solutions between negative pi and 2 pi, in order to do that we're going to have to sketch the graph of tan x or tan of theta, which is a little bit more tricky than sine and cosine, in my opinion. And what I do know about tan of theta is it goes something like this, passes through 0 and goes off up to infinity in that direction. It's actually, it's periodic every 180 degrees as opposed to every uh, 360 like the other two sine and cosine so it's periodic at 180 degrees which in this case is actually periodic every pi which means here we're going to have 2 pi and we always get the same shape we've got an asymptote which is halfway in between um, we've got to go back to negative pi and it's going to pass up through there like so. Let's just put that in again, negative pi. Okay, so where is minus 0 0.142? Well, that's going to occur back here somewhere. And that will give me minus 1 over 7 here. So one solution is certainly minus 0 0.142, but we need to go up as far as 2 pi. So another place where we'll get that solution is if I took pi and subtracted 0 0.142. It's going to be the same distance, so we're going back 0.142. So another solution theta could be equal to pi 
minus 0.142 and another solution will be found by going back from 2 pi again 0.142 because hopefully you can see that if I go down and touch the graph we're going to get the same value at each one of these they all give the same value here so another value could be theta would be 2 pi minus 0.142 that's 3.142 so that's approximately going to be equal to 3 and this is approximately going to be equal to 3 uh, not 3 let's actually let's use the calculator for this one just so that we don't get this wrong um, 2 pi minus not 0.142 so to 3 sig fig 6.14 Okay, we've got one more example to do. So we're going to solve this equation in the interval given. 2 cos theta equals 3 sine theta. Okie doke. Right, what we're going to do is, well, I'm, I'm going to use the fact that I know that sine theta over cos theta equals tan of theta. So I'm going to use that fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to divide both sides by cos theta. So we get 2 equals 3 sine theta over cos theta. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So we get 2 over 3 equals sine theta over cos theta. And like we've said, that's going to equal tan theta. So tan of theta is 2 thirds. That implies that theta is going to be the inverse tan of 2 over 3. And get the calculator out again. Make sure it's in radian measure. We're good to go here. So we're going to hit inverse tan of 2 over 3, close those brackets, get the equals uh, 0.588. So equals not 0.588. And again, in order to answer this question and see how many, because th there's probably more than one solution, we're going to have to sketch the function. So we're only going from 0 up to 2 pi. Um, tan of theta looks something like this so it's going to pass through there and go off and remember it's periodic every 180 degrees or every pi if you're working in radians so it'll pass through there like so and it'll go up as far as 2 pi in this case which again will pass through something like that so that's tan of theta and what we need to do is work out what are all the solutions. So we've certainly got one solution, which is going to be 0.588 in this direction. So that's one. That's okay. But there are, there is one other solution. So there's another place which is going to give me the same value here. And that's going to be found here, which we get from doing pi plus 0.588 so the other solution for theta is going to equal pi plus not 0.588 let's get the calculator out pi plus 0.588 going to give me an answer of 3.73 to three significant figures 3.73 and that's the three significant figures so that's the two solutions that we're going to have you might be saying to yourself but hang on a minute isn't there another one here well 
I hope you do realize that this value actually falls outside of the interval of 2 pi, so we're not interested in it. There is a solution here, but it's outside of the interval, so we're not going to work out this value. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. We'll be back again with the second video on trig equations very soon. All the best and good luck with the revision.